we're gonna start trying okay these are like things that you different alternative to things you'd find in america like brands you'd find in america but not the actual things so it's like, like we went to a grocery store and we saw this stuff it because they also have regular junk food like say like pringles regular pringles you know like regular oreos and stuff but we wanted to find like this even specific though the package ones. is different exactly but, but the things the flavor is the same yeah but I feel like there's every single country, or well, it varies, but like there's a lot of countries that they make those unique. brands make unique for that yeah. country. You know, kind of like the Burger King or yeah. McDonald's. Yeah, they yeah. They have they have we need to do that. potato. They have potato wedges. No. Yeah, it was potato wedges. Potato wedges and McDonald's. Yeah. In and McDonald's. I think they have chicken tenders. Uh, yeah, I think I saw some. So our first, first one. thing, Lay's chips, but cheeseburger flavor. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How can they fit a whole cheeseburger I feel like into it, one flavor? I feel like it's mainly going to taste like cheese and and like pie. burger. Yeah, burger. <laughs> so we're going to be rating we're going to be rating British. We're probably going to be rating this. This is Jorge. It was probably going to taste like the cheese and the burger part. I mean, not the bun or anything else. Okay, but we're going to be rating this this the bun foods. is the potato. Okay, chill. We're gonna be, we're gonna be rating this um, every single thing, and probably like from rating from like one to ten, and yeah, we'll see which one is the best one. And yeah, which one? we we have chips, and we have we also have like regular candy that you guys will see. Yeah. Okay. And Just. look at this huge water bottle. And oh. Six of those. Even this is the thing. Even this kind of stuff, it's different. So regular waters in America will be like you know the typical lid like this, and I think in Mexico too. But look at this. You see how it just oh bonjour. And you never lose your cap. Exactly. Never. Exactly. I think this is really smart. I think they're they're up in their they're game. They're actually thinking. Okay, here. So let's try it. Except for you. Can I smell it? It smells like vinegar a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, I get that whiff. Okay. Oh, those are good. Oh, I like them. I don't know about you, but I fuck with them. I fuck with them. They seriously made a chip taste like a cheeseburger. At first, it's like kind of vinegary, mm -hmm. but then it settles down the and after, it tastes like a cheeseburger. The aftertaste is actually like patty cheese like and a little bit of bun for some reason, you know? <laughs> like, wait, but I, put I feel like that vinegar might be like some pickle Ketchup. flavor. Oh, or yeah. Pickle. So, the cheeseburger lays, I don't want to give it too high, but they were really good. Okay, for lays though. When we, when we like put rankings on it we mean like for a chip or for a yeah, candy yeah, yeah, or a yeah, dessert yeah. It's not, not just like as junk general, food yeah you know i think for, to be a chip like to be a lay i'll say a nine a solid nine i say eight yeah seven, say, i think yeah. i'm looking for yeah. i feel like if i want to taste a cheeseburger i'll eat a cheeseburger and next i want to try this drink in case it's good so, so i can keep drinking fanta it's a uh, Fanta. I think it's a mystery flavor because it, it says, says sans sucre. I think I said that wrong or right. Says, That's without know. sugar. Okay, I'll go first. But don't react to it until I try. Well, actually, no. React at the timing. Or organic. Okay. Make it organic. Not at all. I don't know what that tastes like. I mean, it tastes all right. I, I'd take a regular Fanta over it, but I don't know what the flavor is. It's like fruit punchy, but not. It's like a mixture in between fruit punch and like the the like a blue raspberry. You know, like it's not bad, but it's not like. But it's really subtle flavor too. Yeah. Like you can't even tell what it is. Like it goes away immediately too. The exactly. flavor does not stick around. Okay, what do you give it? For that Fanta. To be a pop, dude, I'll give it a four, probably three, really? maybe. Yeah, it's really, I mean, but when you drink a pop, it's mainly for the flavor. You know, like if you drink a Mountain Dew or a, or a Coke, it's usually for the flavor. So to drink that, unless you really drink, uh, like that flavor. But, but we I also can't didn't tell. drink it cold. That's true. That would make a soda less good, you know? That makes sense. Like, I mean, I, but mean, the I wouldn't drink a... But yeah, going off of flavor, I'd probably give it a five or six. Mm -hmm. Just 
but I do like the fact I get I would give it a six because I like the fact that it's without sugar and it doesn't taste bad, you know? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> it's these Nutella, Nutella ready. Bar. Those look good. Be ready, like I ready. myself have never seen those. So it comes in this like packaging probably nice so they stay too. like soft and like they keep the shape and, and so they don't break i think right yeah i guess this is the package for a it. soft loaf no i think it's kind of like a wafer texture oh. you know all right it, it looks so like ready though okay. like because it's like be ready be ready like ready that's what it looks like oh it's like a mini like a mini um like yeah and there you go That's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. Like, it, exactly like a Ferrero Rocher, you know? It's like a Ferrero Rocher with everything but the nuts. So, basically, the wafer, but the wafer around. I'll give it a solid seven and a half, probably. Eight, I'd probably give yeah. it. I mean, it's you not, like, great. Yeah, you can't go wrong with it, you yeah, know? Yeah, you can't go wrong with Nutella. I don't, I, it's delicious, but... I feel like it. it's so easy for Nutella to be good. So, exactly. I mean, I feel like it had to be something a little crazier. Yeah. The next one is this Lace Mediterranean. I don't think I've seen them. Have you? No. Before? And um, it, they look good. I mean. I think they're kettle. Reason. Yeah. Oh. Should I go for the yellow one? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> those usually are good chips. I do like though. those. Yeah. Like really crispy ones. Okay. Okay. They're yeah. so plain. Yeah, it does. It's literally like a just a plain like a salt chip. potato. Yeah, like a regular salt like chips from America. I think it's just fried in olive oil and they add salt. Dude, I'm I'm honestly giving them like a five. I think we kind of saw Mediterranean and thought it'd have some flavor to it, but I think that just might be a type or something. I give it like a four or three. Taste it tastes good, but for some I wanted something unique, so it's not what I was looking for. This one is a Eminem biscuit. And that's what it looks like. It's it's a huge container too. Look at that. And she has a big big head, so like that should tell you something. <laughs> Keep okay. Wrapping. There's ten of them. That's what it looks like, which is literally it looks really good. Ready? I'm ready. I like it, but I don't get it. I fuck with him. I think it's really nice. It's really good, but I don't get how it's M&M's besides the one M&M I got on top. So I'll give that, those M&M ones. Six or seven for me. Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it a seven and a half. This one I'm excited about for some reason. Oh yeah, me too. It's Lace. Mm, poulet roti, yeah, which, is which is rotisserie chicken, chicken we think. Mm -hmm. Because there's a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm excited about those. It smells like that's what fr that's what literally pears smell like. What <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm not even kidding. That's a, pear smells like chicken. I've been thinking about chicken okay. Chips. I might just be tripping right now, but I've been thinking the Paris has a distinct smell, like the the streets and shit. I agree with that, but I can't put I it I thought it was kind of like a lotion-ish smell, but this chips actually smell like that. I don't know why. I don't. Yeah, they're... Okay. Maybe I'm just tripping. Okay. It tastes a little bit like... Ramen? Chicken. Yeah. Like ramen. Like chicken-flavored ramen. She had... Lay's hot. Lay's is really good at matching what they say they're oh, yeah. going to. Last night, we bought paninis from a store here in Paris. I had a panini with a uh, sausage. She had a panini with chicken. And I think that, that, that those chips actually taste like that the panini. Yeah. yeah, the chicken, right? I'd give it a... Probably eight. eight. Yeah, eight and a half. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like Lay's is so good at matching something. I'm waiting for something so crazy. Oh, yeah. The burger was I don't know crazy, what country though. I like that's that one. gonna be in or what. But anyway, it's the next it's one. The next one they're called Way Well. It's, like, it's a long. It looks like. It's really long. Okay, that's what it looks like. It just has no tail inside. All right, you ready? The only thing I don't like about him is how thick those layers of crepes is. You know, compared to the chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I. It's actually hard to 
get to the chocolate because it's just so much layers, you know. If it was a little bit less, it would be better. But I like it because it has a little bit of crispiness in the inside. I don't know what it is, like a biscuit or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I give it a six. You give it a six? Yeah, I'll give it a because six. Because I feel so. like if I go to like a creeper year, if that's the name of it, I feel like a fresh one's going to taste like... Oh, yeah, way better. Four points. I'll, I'll give it a six, yeah. Next thing... Twix. Twix tops. Yeah. Just like the M&M ones, but Twix. It's like, yeah, it's exactly like the M&M except for Twix. Boom. And the back. You ready? That wasn't bad for a Twix. Yeah, I'm it not wasn't bad. I'm the biggest bad, yeah. Twix fan. Yeah. I'll give that, a, like, I'd say a seven and a half, you know? I feel like it almost it's tastes exactly like a Twix bar. This is the pasta we heated up. Let's try this first. Okay. What flavor is it supposed to be? Fromage <laughs> Italian. Italian cheese. That's really good. It is really good. Excellent. I thought it'd have like a like a parmesan ish flavor, you know? Usually with like packaged pasta and stuff like this, they don't put enough sauce. But this is like perfect amount. They had so many different flavors. Um we recorded a little bit of like the different flavors they have. We're gonna put we're gonna put it somewhere. So right now you guys are seeing all the flavors they have. They had um bolognese or whatever, they had um Y'all can read. Yeah, y'all can read. You're straight. <laughs> I mean you can see. Well, I yeah. give it a nine. I don't know. I'll give it an A probably. Last one. Is this lace? Bolognese. Bolognese. Okay. It literally tastes like the actual sauce, you know? Even though I've never had it. Wait, is it a sauce? I think so. But, it but tastes, I've never had it. It tastes like sauce. Like, it really tastes like herby and like tomato -y, you know? I said it tastes more like a sandwich to me, but maybe that's because I'm eating a chip. Maybe, but I think it does taste. It's just like any other late chips. It literally, you get what you get, you know? Like, it's bolognese and it tastes like that, you know? I'll give seven. it an eight and a half. I, an eight and a half. I think Under it's really seven. good. Solid, but I'd probably get the other two first. Well, that was all the chips we got. Or not all the chips, but all the food we had. I wasn't really disappointed from new flavors. So I like that. I'll give French, French um, general junk food and from what a we've tasted and a so half. Far. Yeah, but this is junk, just junk food, no actual gastronomy, you know? Okay. Eight. Just the junk food. I'll give it an eight, eight and a half. I'll give it an eight and a half. This is why I say, do what you want. And do what you want, yeah. One of those things is like, know what you want, bitch. If you want to like it, like it. If you don't want to like it, then fuck you. He's not good at this at all. No, for real. <laughs> Follow if you want, bitch. It's okay, Jesse. Bitch, because we in Paris, bitch. bitch. 